Hey, thank you for watching. This is the Professional Dependa, and let me know what you think. I think more people would meal prep if their meal prep looked like this. Now to be fair, in the Instapot, great invention by the way, in the Instapot we've got some chicken with a ranch seasoning packet and some cream cheese. And then once that's done, we're gonna throw some more cheese on top of that, add that bacon, there, that bacon. That bacon is for breakfast. I like to cook it in the oven. Um, it doesn't curl up and it cooks more evenly, I feel like. So I really wish I could smell this right now because if you like the smell of bacon, you would love being in my house right now. It smells amazing. So that's what I got. Got bacon, bacon, and some more bacon. Way super excited. Um, so I ordered a mic so I could finally start doing some podcasting because you can't podcast if you can't record. And I know some of my friends are like, oh, just use your phone. Um, I know that I could use my phone. You can, I'm, I'm recording this on my phone. Um, but I really felt that I wanted to start off the podcast with a better quality than I'm starting off these videos. Um, videos, I wanted to just jump in and start doing it. The podcast I've been doing a ton a ton a ton of research on um, trying to figure out what topics I'm going to cover trying to figure out who I'm going to interview how am I going to do the interviews um, trying to figure all that out trying to figure out the best way to do this without investing a ton of money in it because I'm not making any money on this stuff um, but I really feel that there are some people out there that have great information that need to be shared. That inf there are other people out there that may need that information. And of course, so if y'all have cats, y'all know, I just got a box. And she's, I mean, hadn't had the box five minutes. And what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, I really wanted to start off with something that I could do a good quality podcast Everybody could be able to hear, be understood, and the information would come through clear and concise. You gotta have equipment to do that. Great thing, I got this mic on sale. Um, so it's normally like 150, 200 bucks, something like that. I got it for a hundred dollars. So I can record multiple people on it. It's got all different kinds of settings and stuff. I got all, all these little buttons back here. Um, I gotta let it warm up before I can play with it because this is Alaska and it's below freezing outside and the UPS guy, whenever he dropped it off, he didn't knock on the door, they didn't ring the doorbell, they just dropped it off and I was wondering where the crap my stuff was so I had to had to look on the delivery thing and it said it had been delivered already so it would probably been sitting out there for 30-45 minutes in the freezing cold. So I gotta wait for it to warm up. I had to do the same thing on the TV the other day whenever I brought it home. I had to wait like four hours for it to get up to room temperature because I don't really want to fry anything before I even get to turn it on. So anyway, be looking for that. Um, by the time this video comes out, I hope to have already had at least two podcasts. I already know, I've, I've already know the first podcast and uh, the first one, honestly, is pr just going to be me. Um, going to be me talking about what the point of the podcast is, um, how I plan on doing the podcast, giving a little background on why I decided to do the podcast. I actually hope to get the first two published on the same day because first one's just going to be me. It's going to be pretty short. The second one, I have to coordinate with the lady that I'm doing the podcast with. She's a very good friend of mine. She was actually the first person I thought of interviewing when I came up with the idea for the podcast. Um, she's got a ton, a ton of information. She has been a military spouse and a military dependent for literally her entire life. Uh, both of her parents are prior military. Her husband is prior active duty. He's now National Guard. Um... Air National Guard 
and so she's been in the system, in and around the system for a long time, and she knows her stuff. Um, but she's also an extremely intelligent woman, um, and she, I think she's going to fit the podcast very well. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited, man. This is going to be awesome. Uh, the name of the podcast is the Professional Dependa. And some of you military spouses are going to hear that word and go, what the hell is he doing? Listen to the first podcast. You'll see why I chose that name. Uh, I understand y'all are, there's probably going to be some people pissed off that I picked that name, but listen to the first podcast, give it a chance, see why I chose the professional Dependa. Um, and I think you'll understand and you'll probably even agree with it and like it. So anyway, new toys, something that I can play with and, you know, start spreading some good information, getting the word out, and hopefully, hopefully I'll like it, you know? I'm going to have fun with it, that's for sure. So today's been a relatively interesting day so far. We come to work today, and remember I work, work on base, GS employee, come to work and find out that I may be going on a somewhat forced vacation because the people that hold the positions of power in our country can't agree on anything. And that's going to possibly cause a government shutdown. I don't, what I don't think people realize is most of the military still has to come to work. And a lot of the people that are dual military, guess what's not going to be open? The CDC, the Child Development Center, a.k.a. daycare. So these people are going to have to figure out who's going to take care of their kids, you know, what's going to go on with their families. Oh, and by the way, they're not going to get paid for like, like two weeks at least until the government is back up and running. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of put a damper on today, but everything will work out. It always does. It's got to, the people that... The people that are doing the work, we're just going to keep working. We're going to keep doing what we're supposed to do because that's what we're hired to do. So if they shut us down, we'll go on vacation for a couple of weeks or days or however long it takes them to get their stuff together. And then we'll just press on, go on about our daily lives. So I'm actually decided to walk from my office to the shopette today for lunch. I didn't want to, woke up a little late, didn't really have time to make my lunch today, which is what I prefer to do. That way, like I said in the previous video, I can control what I eat on a daily basis. But today's gonna be a cheat day. I'm just really, just really not feeling it today. So, I said, woke up a little late. Just everything's just kind of bummed out. So, it's kind of a bummy day, I guess. But trying to stay positive. So I'm looking at it as a vacation if we do shut down. But I wanna go and I wanna enjoy some food that I haven't eaten in probably almost two months now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to go like way off the rails or anything, but I'm just, by God, I just want something a little bit different today. So, ooh, I almost busted my ass. Did y'all see that? So, I guess that's one of the dangers of walking whenever it's snowing and there's ice under the snow. If I would have failed, y'all would have laughed at me. I know you would have. Anyway, see so y'all keep doing what you're doing. I think one of the guys I follow on social media, Mark Bell, he calls these he calls these ten minute walks. You know, by the time I get all the way to where I'm going and back, I guess it could probably be ten minutes if I walk slow. But it's 19 degrees today and snowing, so I really don't want to walk too slow. Because I forgot my gloves, so my hands are this hand, one holding the phone, a little chilly. Anyway, y'all have a great day. All right, so as y'all know, as I said on the video a second ago, that I've been doing keto diet for about two months now. And today I decided to lunch to get, have a cheat meal. So I had a Philly cheesesteak and some fries. And I can already tell you, I feel miserable right now. <laughs> it's funny, you get used to eating a certain way and then you decide to you know, go out of that boundary for a little bit just because and I already 
just feel feel bloated, kind of feel lethargic. Just because of I guess the only thing I can figure is because all the bread. Because I had the because I had the Philly cheesesteak and then I had French fries. That's the first time I've had fries in two months. But man, I just feel I just really kind of feel bloated now. So I'm I'm kind of glad that I walked because now I can walk back and hopefully get some blood going and get some of this stuff to start digesting a little bit but it's just not a feeling I'm used to because I've been doing pretty pretty good and now to feel like this kind of sucks all right so headed to the gym do a little lifting I'm going to do a uh, going to do a straight up bro sesh today we're going to do some arms and some shoulders because it's snowing and I might be on a forced vacation next week. So I just feel like doing something fun. Uh, honestly, felt kind of bloated all day from uh, that cheat meal that I had at lunch today. So I really just want to do something. I've already worked. I worked legs pretty hard. I worked chest pretty hard. Worked back pretty hard this week. So I just want to do something fun. So we're going to do some arms and some shoulders. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it is really starting to pick up as far as the snow goes, which will work out great in a few days if it keeps this up, because then we'll have a ton of snow on the ground for a cross-country skiing and whatnot. I had a real, man, my, it's amazing how well exercising completely changes your mood. I was in a, I was in a pretty crappy mood earlier. And I think it was a combination of the the pending furlough situation coupled with uh, eating some crappy food for lunch and just really feeling like crap. But I went in and had a, uh, what some people call a bro session. So I went and worked biceps, triceps, and some shoulders and went kind of, went heavy. I usually don't go super heavy, but I went pretty heavy today on arms. And man, I gotta admit, my whole attitude on outlook on life is different now. I just, just the, that endorphin release from lifting heavy weights. Heavy for me. Then I got buddy, one of my buddies in there asked me if I was, that was my warm up set because he was being a jerk. But hey, so that's what buddies do, right? Anyway, so I'm about to get my little protein shake and go pick up the girls because it's snowing and it's a weekend. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about the video. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I really need your feedback to let me know what I'm doing wrong besides not looking at the camera thing. I'll work on that. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think. Hope to keep these videos going. Hope y'all like them. Hopefully you get something out of it, especially if you're a military spouse. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing y'all at the next video.